the beach, the open air, the mountains. Fresh air and away from the city is the best way to actually experience the outdoors and to get away from the city life. Then get off it like via boat and get on an island. Ta-da! White Beach, Puerto Galera. Let's get to that serious note right now. It's things like these that get me down. Please learn to throw your trash. Like, come on. You guys can bring a paper bag around with you or maybe an eco plastic bag and put all of the trash that you have. That would be easier. I feel like I just got out of a jungle. Seriously, guys. I lost their slipper. Lost and found. Somebody chew half of them. <laughs> On the beach itself, you have to go and pay the eco fee, which I think helps in protecting the environment. So that's a good thing by the government, right? Ladies and gentlemen, here to introduce to you. I'm really bad at introductions, actually. We know our names. We can introduce you. Hi, many... Chuck. Hi, Chuck. I'm Jay. Mullison Boat. What a place to be. What exactly. do, you, do you like it, Chuck? I love Mullison Boat because, first of all, hello, party dancing. More importantly, I love it because cultures come here to unite. All right, Mala Simbo, if you haven't been here, it is one of the most amazing experiences you could ever have. There are some fantastic artists going on the mountain tonight. You got Kamani Mali, Bob Mali's son, and then right after that, you got our very own Heavy Boogie Special, Christian Hernandez on the decks. So if you're not here, I'm sorry. We'll be thinking of you, but we'll be having fun on your behalf. I know that Mala Simbo entails a lot of partying, a lot of drinking, a lot of all trash. Yeah. You'd like to find out what your contribution is to this little one of ours to keep going green. Absolutely, it's a very, very important thing. We try and instill that message, particularly to everyone that comes on the boat. We tell everyone to recycle. We want everyone to not shower, just swim in the beach. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> going green and still keeping it fun. Absolutely. I came to the Philippines three years ago and found a boot food vodka. Yeah. It's good. I bring it back to the States, everybody raves about it. You got to try it. It's made from the sap of the coconut tree. And I love it because he decided to choose the Philippines as a retirement. I look for the most beautiful place in the world. I like beaches. And I also want to be within close proximity to Manila. In case I want to go back to the city, it's, it's two and a half, three hours max. You got the big city, you got the beaches. Yeah. There are a lot of local delicacies, local Filipino favorites that are offered here at the Malasipo Ground. A lot of them are Filipino local favorites are regular jewels, fish balls, and arroz caldo. And I'm so happy to say hello, <laughs> First of all, favorite, what is this called, sir? It's Tosilog. And it's favorite breakfast food here, which is half because I just woke up. And because a lot of people say that this is one of the most favorite things that a lot of the people who come here to Malasimbo and actually look for is their, um, it's called the Malasimbo Delight. One of the favorites here, Quesong Puti Pandesa. So it's white cheese, I think it's a carabao. Breakfast food again. <laughs> really good. I think there's rosemary in that. Right? Because Malasimbo is all about love, peace, and sharing. Mangan Village is actually supported by the Malasimbo Festival and it's a village that's composed of several different ethnic groups and it is really good because the organizers make sure that they are able to showcase all of their products such as their weave, made into bags, so they still protect that kind of 
heritage here. The organizers of Malice in Rome want to make sure that all of you out there are responsible about your trash. If you have like plastic cups lying around, they turn those into beautiful flowers and designs around the area that they turn into lanterns. And in this, this area right here, it's got a lot of the trash that you can see on the beach. This is the only area that doesn't look exactly good because it showcases all the trash. Eventually, this is how it'll look like if we don't take care of the beautiful surroundings. Just amazing, you know, it's about love, peace, nature, hippie vibes. <laughs> it really inspired me to continue doing the show and I hope that it inspired you to take care of the environment. Going green doesn't have to be drastic, you guys. Those little steps are the ones that count the most. For us to be able to save 